Today is going to be epic. We're going to, with two plugins or two tricks or two simple things, going to replicate this exact landing page, which by the way, it's incredible. I really love that credit to the, to the, to the designer called coffee. That's it. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's trycoffee.co and we're going to recreate this exact page in our custom domain for our custom things or for whatever you want in two clicks. <laughs> Let's get started. So this is trackoffee.co. I'm going to, this is the agenda, but there will be an image coming from somewhere of the two things that we're going to do. First of all, we're going to do in Figma and use the plugin HTML to design to HTML um, that basically allows us to paste the link and add the Figma structure. Yeah, it's true. We're going to get there. And then using Framer's plugin, uh, I'm using a lot of Framer nowadays, especially after the PO. It's, it's insane how crazy and how great it is to build websites. We're going to copy the Figma structure and move that into Framer to then deploy. It so sounds like a lot, but it's, it's really, it's magical. So this is the beautiful landing page, by the way, that is this hover on this button, which is, I think it's, it's incredible. So what we're going to do, of course, if you can, uh, shrink it, we are going to copy this link, going to Figma. I have a page called HTML to design landings. Basically, if you don't have this plugin, it's basically here in the community, you search HTML to design by the Briots and you just try it out. I have to add a at the, at the heart and this is we leave in a comment saying this is nuts yes yes it's really nuts so option bar here i'm going to run the plugin paste the track of link import to canvas and yes so now nah, nah, don't hold on a sec it's not 100% always crystal clear exactly as we see it, see that, because it's just, if you see the, the layers, com, layers convention, it's basically HTML. So there are divs into divs into components into elements. So of course there, there are some, some tricks needed sometimes. I tried with other pages here and the result is quite incredible. Um, so this is the landing that we have. Maybe we can have this H1 as bold, let's say, uh, or maybe even add an auto layout. Let's maybe have 64. Actually, you know what? Is this is already a structure. We can have this as an all auto layout. And this we can fill and we can give uh, let's say 128. Yeah, I mean, we can be creative with that. Just maybe add internal padding at, at the div. So 160 or something. Yeah, that's fine. And this is it. So now I'm select a layer called track coffee. I'm running the Figma to HTML with Framer. Bang, copy 104 layers based in Framer. I have already an op a project in Framer, which by the way, I strongly recommend you to, to subscribe to Framer. Uh, that basically allow us to, 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 <laughs> to build websites just with, with images and just with layers, which is crazy. And the interface, I think it's the best that I've ever used. It reminds me a lot about sketch in the early days, but I was trying to yeah, get read. So let's, let's get rid of this. Actually, you know what? Let's go to create another project called track of him. Is that cool, right? Yeah. Cool. Sweet. So here I can in the desktop, of course I can add breakpoint. So I, if I want the phone version, I can add a phone version as well. In the desktop, I'm going to layers, and I'm go. I'm still. I still copied the elements from Figma from the plugin, so I just have to go with Command V. Bang. Now, of course, we need to to do some some tweaks here. 
but ma mainly let's see if I can if I shrink here these all these 115 yeah well of course it needed some tr some, tr some some tricks right but it's it's really it's really something that you can definitely do so what i'm what i'm doing right now sorry if i was quiet is just to basically uh quickly because i don't want to lose that much of a time here just for showing you that the it's super easy then to re recreate the uh, the structure as we as we designed i don't know here what's going on yes so basically then this is the desktop that basically we can do uh we can work on the mobile let's say uh reusing the size maybe this should be fill yeah well basically here it's a matter of understanding the stacks of how they works on that side but this this thing already uh it's it's really a, a solid base where we can customize it we can I'm update and that's it. <laughs> this is a web page. Of course, you can do crazy things like uh, adding links, adding contents, but for the purpose of this, Framer is incredible. So, to recap, two things HTML to design and Framer plugin from Figma to Framer. If you have any questions, if you have any doubts, I would love to see something from you. I will just maybe spend some other 10 minutes to. Uh, make a proper mobile version knowing that if you're confident with Figma uh, what Framer is doing is creating stacks that you can customize here and in, mo in the moment you change here in the desktop in the main view it will impact uh, the, the phone as well or the other breakpoints but this doesn't mean that for the mobile I can have a specific thing that is not shown in the in the desktop yeah it's, it's sick <laughs> take care